All right, at the State House, more election bills are coming up that could change the way people vote. One Democrat backed a bill aimed to allow same day voter registration, expand absentee voting to all voters, and it would eliminate the witness signature requirement on those mail in ballots. Again, this is a proposal. The other bill backed by the GOP would expand in person absentee voting but restrict who is actually allowed to vote by mail. It would also ban ballot drop boxes and solidify the 30 day deadline to register to vote before voting in an election. Now we spoke with authors of both bills today. Here's what they had to say. Absentee voting also is, is a mail-in option as well. So this would just allow in-person early voting, no excuse voting. I think we should separate the two. Our absentee voting system has 18 reasons you can vote absentee, but by now having in-person early voting with no excuse, it gets rid of a lot of those reasons because they're really redundant now, like, like having to work on election day. Well, you, that's no longer a problem because you'd be able to vote early. We ought to do all that we can to encourage South Carolinians to vote remove any barriers that we have in place. And so same day registration is something that has worked in other states. I think it would work here. The whole notion of absentee balloting is one that has really come to fruition as a result of the pandemic. Of course, the author of that bill right there was Representative Gilda Cobb Hunter of Orangeburg. And then the first person you heard from was Representative Brandon Newton of Lancaster was the author of the other bill. Now, both of the bills are going to be heard by a House subcommittee tomorrow morning. We, of course, will let you know what comes out of those meetings. Stay with us.